it goes without saying that Minecraft has changed a lot over the years. I know that many people have had the same experience where they decide to return to the game after some time, typically in a single player survival world with some big ambitions and hopes for that world. But then, after only a little bit of time, they just get bored, something feels different, and they stop playing. This phenomena happens because to some people, modern Minecraft just feels worse than its old counterpart. But why? Well, I think the answer is sure to interest you because it's a bit more complicated than you might imagine. So, without further ado, let's talk about why now modern Minecraft feels worse for some people. Now, right off the bat, let me be abundantly clear about this. I'm not trying to say that modern Minecraft is bad or that old Minecraft was better or anything like that. Truthfully, neither version is objectively better than the other. It all comes down to a matter of preference and opinion, and really just what you derive the most enjoyment out of. The gameplay experience of Minecraft has changed somewhat dramatically since its initial release, which is of course to be expected when a game gets updated consecutively for 15 years. These differences in gameplay are one of the reasons why modern Minecraft feels worse for some people than the old version. If you would like to hear more about these specific gameplay differences, I would recommend watching Dialco's video. But in this video, I want to talk about some more complex reasons that aren't really talked about from what I've seen. So, one reason that modern Minecraft might feel worse is, well, you, the player. And I don't mean it's your fault or anything, but well, when we all played Minecraft as kids, we had a lot more imagination and creativity, of course. Many people now returning to the game as older adults don't have that same wondrous spark to them anymore. Without that, they might lose motivation and just stop playing the game altogether. The other thing is the uncertainty that came with being younger. Back then, we didn't know exactly what was in the game and what wasn't. There was a much greater sense of mystery because of the age difference. For all we knew back then, Herobrine could be real. For all we knew, maybe it was possible to make an aether portal with a glowstone frame and bucket of water. Or maybe it was possible to summon the wither storm using a command block. We didn't know any better, and with that came a certain happiness and joy that just can't really be found anymore. Especially if you are someone who keeps up to date with Minecraft news and updates like myself. And so, with much of that spark and much of that wonder gone, Minecraft will of course feel worse. But gameplay and the player actually aren't the only two important factors here when it comes to determining how a game feels. Maybe you guessed it, but the community also plays a very important role here, much more than many people realize. See, as mentioned earlier, most of us were a lot more creative and imaginative when we were younger, and also, the content of that time on, say, YouTube promoted and reflected that. Authenticity was much easier to find back then, but... As we grew up, that all kind of faded away, and we began to see the rise of videos that sort of just copied one another all of the time, doing basically whatever it takes to get as many views as possible. In addition to this, as people grew up, they also acquired new views on the game itself. People recently got a lot more serious and began to take on stances, except it wasn't until very recently that the actual fighting began. What happened to the community is nothing short of tragic. For the longest time, people were just here to have fun. That's all they cared about because, well, Minecraft is a video game. But naturally, with people spending so much time playing one game, they began to realize its flaws much more. And with that arose critiques of Minecraft. And 
if things ended there, it would have been okay, but sadly they didn't. Somewhat as a result or a response to this, a new massive argument began about what Minecraft really is about. Was it about building? Was it about adventure? Was it about freedom? What made the game so great? What was it? Its building mechanics or was it all of its mechanics combined? People were older now, and some of them a lot more extreme also. Some of them refusing to accept others' ideas or not being okay with how others play the game. People began attacking each other for how they play the game or even just what version they play. And some people were so toxic, so things got very ugly very quickly. The whole idea of just play the game how you want and have fun was kind of left behind, and instead people always cared more about being right. It always confused me, especially with builders or build supremacists who were toxic like Minecraft, and especially in the building aspect, is such a laid back and relaxing game. Why do you care about how other people are playing it? Why don't you want Mojang to be inclusive and make improvements for other playstyles like progression or adventure? It was, of course, that desire to be right, I assume. So, the community was in a terrible place now. But why does that matter? How does the community change the feeling that you get from the game? Well, let me put it like this. Which way are you going to enjoy the game better? If you're playing it in a nice, relaxing, and comfortable room with some friends and you're happy, or are you going to enjoy playing the game more in a room that is on fire with people shouting at you constantly, yelling at you to do certain things and that you're stupid? The community essentially creates the atmosphere around the game, not in it, but around, which can then absolutely shape and change how someone feels when playing the game. If the community's in turmoil, some people might want no part in that and just steer clear of the game entirely. And with that, the difference in gameplay in the player yourself and the community, for some people, Minecraft might just feel worse now, less enjoyable. Again, I'm not saying that modern Minecraft is worse than old Minecraft or anything. I use the word feels for a specific reason. But anyway, the change in gameplay can of course just be fixed by going back and playing old Minecraft instead. The change in the player can somewhat be helped from this too, depending on your sort of attitude and how you're affected by the gameplay. The community can somewhat change also, because if you kind of go further into the old Minecraft community, then that tends to be a much less hostile community than the general Minecraft community, if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'd also appreciate hearing your thoughts on this in the comments. I hope to see you in the next one, and for now, goodbye.